Ciao, picciride. I'm Giulia. I'm a Sicilian folk musician, and I am so excited to share some music with you today from my culture and my island of Sicily. Sicily is surrounded by the sea. Maybe for this reason, we have had so many visitors coming in on boats, leaving different foods, different plants, different languages, different instruments, and different musical traditions. Sicilian music, much like New York City, is a huge melting pot of many, many different cultures. My parents came all the way from the island of Sicily on a big boat to Queens, New York, which is a very diverse community with people from all different cultures who speak many, many different languages, and there are indeed a lot of Sicilians there as well. So growing up with my mother, my father, my sister, my grandmother, my grandfather, all in one house, I grew up speaking Sicilian and Italian. As many hardworking immigrant families, there was a lot of work and little play. But on Sundays, all the women gathered in the kitchen to make very large pots of sauce. And this was a place where I always heard my mother and my grandmother humming Sicilian folk melodies, which is where I began to learn them. My favorite part of growing up was that every summer I was lucky enough to go to the island of Sicily for three months. We stayed at my great grandmother's house. We got to play with all my cousins. We were by the ocean. There was always lots of food there for us. And my favorite music memory is of my uncle Paolo sitting us down all at the beach and playing a Sicilian folk song where he would sing and we would repeat and eventually we'd all sing all together. And that's when I really started to see the power of music leading to joy and togetherness. I didn't always play and sing music from a young age. In fact, it was quite later that I began to play guitar and sing. I started to go to some music concerts in New York City, all different kinds of music, and I started to feel this little pinch inside of me when I'd see the musicians on stage playing so free, singing, playing all different kinds of instruments, and I kept thinking to myself, why can't I be like them? Why can't I play instruments and sing on stage? So one day, I was given a guitar by my father. During that time, we were visiting my grandma often, and I noticed that when I went there and strummed a few chords and sang a few songs, she became happier. She remembered all the words and started singing along. I realized if I have my guitar and I have my voice, I can sing under a tree, I can sing on stage, I felt so free. It's like having wings. You can go anywhere and make beauty. The reason singing and playing Sicilian music is so important to me is because I want to keep telling stories. I want to tell stories about women who worked very hard, from my great-grandmothers in the fields to my grandmother here in a factory in New York City. I want to keep telling those stories, and most of all, I want to share my music because I want immigrants all over the world to find the bravery to share their own stories about their own homeland, which they may be missing right now. And I think one of the most important things to remember is that the way you sing is unique to you. It's like the way you walk or the way you smile. There's no point in comparing yourself to anyone else. So I'm encouraging you, pick up a guitar, sing, make music, tell your story, tell your family's story, tell us how you feel that day, happy or sad, through music. It was so lovely to be here with you, Musical Explorers. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Ne veremo. Ciao, ciao. Beduzze mio.